Kenzo. Oh, this is probably too long for a voice note. Hey, Claire. Uh, I know, I know. Save it for the podcast. Your space for an unfiltered and candid conversation. Skip the small talk and dive in deep. Hey, he's Enzo. And she's Claire. And this is too long for a voice note. Hello. hello. We are back. Back. Welcome. Who's back? We, we are, are back. back. <laughs> this is us again in your headphones for another week straight. <laughs> We're on episode five. How do yeah, you feel? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, I feel like we have been like releasing the episodes back to back. We're on I'm our proud game. of us. We're very proud, very yeah. disciplined. Yeah, loving yeah, it. Yeah, I'm really liking it. Yeah, yeah. It's really, I hope you're liking it as well, guys. And if this is your first time listening to this podcast, this is probably it's going to turn into your favorite podcast. Yeah, I have to say. For sure. And if you are a returning uh, customer, exactly. <laughs> thank Welcome you back. very much. Welcome back. Thank you for leaving comments. Yeah. I actually love reading the comments. It's Honestly, so yeah. cute. Yeah. So thank you like, to our shout out to like Lee and Andy. Lee and Andy. I was going like, to say our loyal, comments, <laughs> our loyal comments. Our loyal commenters. I love it. I love the comments. Like, they really uh, go in. It's kind of like I mean we talk with them obviously all, all the time, but mm. it's kind of interesting how like that different. I don't know, it's a different layer of, like, um, it, it's changed when you see what others, even if they're your friends or people close to you, like, what they think, think about and the how topics, they're reacting. Right? And yeah, also, if you are nice. listening on Spotify, we would love it if you could just leave us a review. All you have to please. do is just swipe along. And put it five just, stars. Please put five stars. It's it easy, really yeah. helps us. It helps people to discover yeah. the podcast. So yeah. thank and you. And also, like, for Spotify that. has gotten so much has gotten so much better with the um, the podcast, mm-hmm. it, the platform itself, because you can see the videos there. They have polls. Like you can, you know, a like what? a poll. Oh, a poll. I thought you were like that's porn. I was like porn. Family podcast. <laughs> Paul. 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 <laughs> Paul. I don't think it's porn yet exactly. in Spotify, <laughs> but yeah, they have, like the platform has gotten so much better now. You can like it's like more interactive. So yeah, please I like feel that. Yeah, Definitely. yeah, yeah, please yeah. like leave us the reviews and subscribe, etc., all support. of that. How has your week been? It's been good. I mean, actually, yeah. exciting. I mean, it hasn't been okay. <laughs> it's not been good. As it's all right, you know, like work and things like that. Nothing mm-hmm. like that um, particular. But it's like a bank holiday in the yes, UK. So that holds. what makes my week much better because yeah. I'm waiting for these days to like relax and chill and mm-hmm. like. I don't know, looking forward for trips that co- I'm coming, like yeah, I'm going to yeah, Madrid yeah. soon Ooh, and then I'm going exciting. to Venezuela, How exciting. going back to my roots, you know. How do you feel about going back to Venezuela? It's going to be interesting. I haven't been there like in nine years, so it's going to be Crazy. a trip. So I will let you know when I come back all the details. Yeah. Everyone's like, we don't want to hear that. <laughs> no, Maybe we we'll need gonna... to do like a wrap up. <laughs> we can do, like, we can do like an episode, like <laughs> this was my trip to Venezuela. <laughs> Hopefully good things to tell, but for yeah, sure. I'm really excited. We're going to start with my topic. Yes. So it's time for... I actually had another topic prepared for this week based off of something, which I'm going to get back to at some point. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to talk about this because I feel like it's quite topical at the moment. Mm -hmm. So I want to talk about radical optimism. As you may or may not know, uh, Dua Lipa has just released her third album, which Mm -hmm. is called Radical Optimism. So I want to talk about this concept Mm -hmm. i want to talk about optimism in general Mm -hmm. whether you think you're optimistic i would like to end the episode with some tips maybe for our audience that we can kind of like give them to take away to kind of be more optimistic if that's something that you want to bring into your life yeah yeah. so let's get going on this Dua Lipa has said that the album taps into the pure joy and happiness of having clarity in situations that once seemed impossible to face. She added the hard goodbyes and vulnerable beginnings that previously threatened to crush your soul become milestones Mm. as you choose optimism and start to move with grace through chaos. So the actual term radical optimism itself isn't a singular recognizable philosophy of thought. So it can be hard to pin down exactly Mm. what it means. If pessimism is the expectation that mostly bad things will happen, then optimism is the expectation that mostly good things will happen. Radical optimism stresses the importance of agency and responsibility in understanding our negative experiences, prescribing a mindset that things will ultimately work out for the best. So Hmm. what do you think about this? Hmm, That's so interesting. I also feel like, I wanted to say that, I feel like we've kind of spoken about positive we, we, thinking kinda, and yeah, optimism a, bit, a little a bit, bit in the yeah, past yeah. but i think we're older yeah. we're wiser we have more so i felt like we needed like say. a fresh yeah. take on this um, so what do you think you, it's, uh, what, it's, do you it's, think? what do you think <laughs> tell me now explain yourself um uh, that's really fun because i think like i was thinking about this topic as well this week because mm. um 
I guess if someone negative is listening to this episode, it may die a bit, a, a bit with this episode because I think we are both very positive people. Yeah, I have to say. Yeah. And I was thinking of, so I was saying like someone like it's very yeah. negative will be like yeah. fuck them. Interesting. <laughs> but I just think like I was thinking about this because I feel like radical optimism is something that I identify a bit sometimes, and I you think do identify I, with I, I it. do identify with it, and I think it's like that kind of like maybe. I think it's a bit like a blind faith faith that everything's going to work out the way it has to work out. It's mm-hmm. a bit of that for me. And I think I found really interesting the concept of the album when she announced it because it's like, yeah, like, no matter what, you know it's going to be fine. It's mm-hmm. going to, like, put that... Um, positive outlook to everything that may happen to you like doesn't matter like which direction things are going at the end they're gonna be in the right position for Mm. you and i think like i don't know if it's something like it's a personality thing or it's something you can train Mm -hmm. to be more positive or not i think you can train and i was well i was watching one of these interviews with dua lipa Mm -hmm. talking about the album and she she said like she had to train no she had to train but she's at, she said like it's a training process that like, you need to kind of mm. like um talk yourself to kind of like learn how to be more positive and positive yeah. with time sometimes it's not like it's there and i do feel like some people are naturally more positive and that's it and it's easier for them and others they need to like learn yeah. to be positive i totally agree and i think that's one of the kind of areas that i wanted to cover is mm-hmm. kind of like are you born optimistic or are you born pessimistic i think yeah probably there are kind of like certain predispositions maybe in our in our brain like it's kind of about mm-hmm. like probably like the chemical makeup of your brain perhaps yeah. that maybe make you more positive or negative mm-hmm. and i think that we're really lucky that we're probably both probably quite naturally wired yeah, yeah, yeah. to being positive yeah. i personally i don't know what you feel I strongly believe that you can train yourself to be positive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that we really have the ability to like shape our mindset. Yeah. And I think that's what Ju is talking about a little bit. One thing I think that's very interesting about this concept is that element of like agency and personal Mm -hmm. responsibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Mm -hmm. I think it's about kind of like, you know, accepting that bad things are going to happen to all of us. Yeah. But it's kind of what you do with that. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's a lot what I took from the album. It's yeah. kind mm-hmm. of, I think it's a lot about like heartbreak or maybe one particular relationship mm-hmm. breakdown mm-hmm. that really affected her. Mm-hmm. But it's kind of that wrapping up of like what you choose to do with these experiences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I do think that that's something that you mm-hmm. can you can double up change yeah, i also change. don't want to kind of diminish people's experience of say having you know really severe depression or something of because course. obviously you can't just be like we'll just be positive yeah. no it doesn't work like that i think that's not quite what i'm talking about yeah, i think that's yeah. really good that you mentioned that because i think for i think always this is uh, this fight between people that are trying to be really positive and people that are like more negative it's kind of like oh if you're more negative you're more realistic if you're more positive you're more like uh Mm -hmm. delusional in a way i think that's a lot of um, the narrative around it and of course this is not like positive in a way like oh my god yeah everything life is like you know meant to be or all this kind of like fairy tale fairy tale kind of like concept it's more like within like what you have and within your possibilities like try to be as positive as possible mm-hmm. in, in the way you like conduct your life of course there are people like mm. if you're suffering depression obviously mm-hmm. you cannot tell a person in the situation to be be mm-hmm. positive you're being too negative that's not about it mm-hmm. but i think it's a, a lot about like if you because I, th- I do think a lot of people they are like let's say um they could be i don't know mentally stable or something or whatever and they're still can be very negative by nature yeah definitely like very true. like um or very like yeah i don't know if the word is negative also but very like yeah they could pessimistic be very neg- pessimis- or... they can be pessimistic it's kind of for example pes- being pessimistic is something that i think a lot of people that i may know uh, they have it and mm. it's like if you can choose two things, why you would choose the one that will hurt you the most long term? Mm. Even though I heard some people say, no, I prefer to be realistic. So when that thing, that bad thing that happened hits me, I'm going to be prepared. And I'm going to, I'm not going to be like with my hands up in the air because I was thinking everything's going to work out and it didn't. So it's kind of like for me, some uh, mechanism. Uh, yeah, defense mechanism, defense mechanism. For sure, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a difference though between, between being like realistic and mm-hmm. being mm-hmm. negative yeah. you know because i think yeah i think they're kind of two different things yeah. honestly yeah, yeah. i think that 
maybe some people can view it in a similar way to like law of attraction and like i'm uh-huh. just gonna sit yeah. back and wait yeah. and these things are gonna happen like i'm gonna become a millionaire but yeah. i don't think that's what this thing is about at all or at what all. like yeah. Dua Lipa is trying to get across with yeah. that True. at all i think it's that thing of like you have these set of um of problem situations mm-hmm. this kind of like mm-hmm. this this stuff it's what you choose to do with it i think and it's like about i think it's definitely about like taking action Mm -hmm. for sure it's taking that yeah yeah taking action yeah definitely when you started to talk about the topic i was that and like thinking about it like how you take actions and what actions do you take to make it like yeah good for you and i think that's like something key in this topic as well definitely but i feel like maybe if you are a really negative person or if you don't believe in radical radical optimism maybe that stops you to take actions i think sometimes i feel i don't know if that you feel feel that but sometimes i feel like if i'm not taking actions on something it's because i'm feeling a bit negative about that so for example i don't know i need to complete a project and i haven't completed i'm delaying it it's because Mm -hmm. i have a negative outlook on it it's maybe it's not going the direction i want or maybe i'm too tired or maybe i'm feeling a bit deflated about Mm -hmm. it so it's kind of like I'm delaying it mm-hmm. to kind of like confront it, but I'm doing it because I'm really feeling negative towards it. Okay. If I'm feeling really positive about something I'm doing, I'm going to go for it and finish it. In this case, it's a project. Yeah. I mean, I think that's normal yeah. in a way yeah. because it's like, it's kind of like an avoidance thing, maybe in a way. It's sort of like mm-hmm. if you're feeling negative about it, you mm-hmm. won't feel like you want to do more with it. Yeah. You so, want to just like leave it. So would you say it. if someone is very negative, it's also be avoidant in a way? could be linked in a weird, in a weird strange way i don't know i find negativity and i think this is something that goes alongside with it this is what we spoke about before it's toxic mm-hmm. positivity we spoke about this many oh, moons yeah. we, ago we, t- we talk about but it yeah i think it's it's like this thing of i don't know i find i don't know about you but i find mm-hmm. i do find it quite difficult mm-hmm. to deal with negativity yeah not that yeah. It's not the thing about kind of um, you can't tell me anything Mm -hmm. that's wrong about my plan or you can't say anything Mm -hmm. negative at all. It's not about like this kind of like blanket thing of like everything is like rose tinted Mm -hmm. glasses. Mm -hmm. But I do find like very like long term negativity with like lots of different situations incredibly draining. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But and I don't know if like to go back to your point, if like I don't know if like that negativity maybe like positivity negativity has like a strong charge as well Mm -hmm. and it might Mm -hmm. give people energy Mm -hmm. in a way yeah true in a certain way just i just feel like if ever negativity will give you the energy for you to accomplish something for example i don't know i don't know if some people work like that because i definitely don't work like that but i do i wonder like if you need to do something if being negative it will Mm -hmm. actually give you that power energy and will to do what you need to Mm -hmm. finish i don't know if that could work like that can you think about times or situations where you've been incredibly negative or you've Mm. been finding it hard to bring that positivity yeah i mean i don't want to sound like a disney disney fairy tale or something type of person but i do even think i'm trying to think about something but i do think even in if i'm going through a really low moment what actually makes me go through it is thinking that i know it's going to be better or have other goals to reach. It's kind of like, okay, this is going so bad, but I know I have like this bigger thing that I'm looking to, like if it's a career goal or like a creative goal, whatever, I have that thing there Mm. that's what I need to reach. And that's what helped me to go through negative stuff. And and even when I've been in a really moments that I've been, things really negative have been happening in my life. I always try to find things that actually... So basically, I don't feel ashamed to feel good even when bad things are happening. I Ooh, think that's, I that. that's a thing interesting. That's an interesting thing because I feel like when someone approaches things in some more negative way, I think they have to put everything... So that there cannot be no... So you need to go through the suffering and you need to be like really... Um, I don't know how to explain it. Like... Mm. You cannot put some like good bits around because you deserve to go through this whatever pain or bad situation. Okay, but I think like even when I having like really bad times in my life, I always try to like, well, I'm gonna have a with, with a friend. I'm gonna try to have a best time. I'm gonna do this that when I make me be happy. So at mm. least I have these pockets of happiness that I'm gonna try to leave and I'm gonna try to like yeah, I'm not gonna refrain myself to feeling good even though 
everything around it's all, all the main situation in my life is really bad but also i need like to breathe around to kind of like go through this bad situation yeah. i cannot like go through a bad situation feeling being, really bad really feeling yeah. bad i need to be i guess radical optimistic but that's the thing it's i think it's that i think what would be interesting is kind of maybe to hear from somebody who thinks that they're quite pessimistic mm -hmm. or negative because mm -hmm. i can completely relate to what you're saying yeah. but it's like you are probably not comfortable mm -hmm. in that negativity at all all yeah, you want to do is yeah. fight to be positive yeah. again so even yeah, when you're yeah, going yeah. through the worst moment in your life yeah. all you're doing is looking for like i can meet my friend i can do my photography yeah. i can do yeah. something that because mm -hmm. you're not comfortable in that negativity true mm -hmm. and i think i think it's just i don't know if it's just like a different thing where some some people thrive some in, in the negativity. negativity it's true yeah and it's not good like nothing is better or worse but it's yeah. just different it's yeah. just a different mindset yeah i think no definitely yeah i don't think I, I mean i do think personally i do feel like being positive it helps you more than hurts you definitely i think like being positive is really like it's a lighter way to see things even mm. in the worst situations but i do as you say like being a, a negative pessimistic uh person i don't think it's like oh it's so bad but because maybe the positive negative pessimistic pers person they will probably think 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 about things like in a deeper way or more not like you or me or a positive person wouldn't do it but maybe the way they're wired mm -hmm. that helps them to get to like explore situations in a different way that maybe we wouldn't because maybe we sometimes we don't allow ourselves to do it because yeah we're like oh no that's too deep in the pessimistic um, I don't know, like, it yeah. must be, there must be, obviously, there's, like, positives and negatives for both things. What about when people say, like, oh, you're just, like, so positive, like, yeah. why can't you see that this is really bad? What would you say to that? I don't give a shit. <laughs> it's like, honestly, it's like, well, see yourself, yeah, I'm not gonna be crying in the corner. Sorry, like, just, I'm not gonna force like... myself to cry in the corner. <laughs> and then, like, smiling. <laughs> I think like a lot of times, like when people want to describe me, for, for example, if they want to say a word about me, they will say, oh, he's very positive. Totally. Even from uh, at work, mm. like randomly, like the other day, a colleague was like, oh yeah, because you're very positive always. Mm. It's like, no, in a bad way. It was like, oh, you're very positive. It's kind of like, and I really never have like a moment to like reflect why or kind of like in a deepened way. I'm just like, yeah, that's how I am. I don't feel like mm. bad about it. So I don't give myself any credit for that. So when people tell me that, for me, it's like, yeah fine okay but i don't give myself any credit for that i don't think though i don't feel necessarily like i did a lot of work to be a very positive person so i don't know why it just happened to be so i don't feel like it's something like oh my god yes it's like when you tell someone like oh you are that it's kind of oh yeah thank you because i work really hard on that and i'm like you know for me it's always been there I don't know why. So for me, it's not something like really like, oh yeah, what a good trait. I mean, it is, I think it's gay. Mm. It's, it's, it's a good trait, but mm. what I think is like, there are people that need to work for it. And I think that's really like, wow. Like, yeah. I think I, I never actually reflect why. I think maybe you don't give yourself enough credit for mm. that positivity, because mm. I think going back to this topic of radical optimism, yep. I feel like it's, it's the choice thing. Mm. And once again, taking out you know the big kind of depression sort of thing or like something like that i think if you it's kind of like the way that you choose to view mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. through that like positive lens or the negative mm -hmm. lens yeah i think that that's something maybe you could work on in therapy yeah. for example i think that's something that could rewire your brain to help you to view things in a positive way do, do you feel that you have to um use therapy uh to kind of like help you to be optimistic in part in terms of your life or definitely yeah, okay. yeah definitely I think my therapist is like really optimistic as okay. well and she's such a cheerleader mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. she's not afraid to tell me like girl no or mm -hmm. like be really direct with me because we have a very strong relationship at this yeah. point yeah but I think that she's always kind of reminding me of like it's not like this it's like this because mm -hmm. I think also sometimes this is why you need good friendships as mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. and a therapist helps I think in mm -hmm. my case because mm -hmm. you can have somebody from the outside mm -hmm. who's like mm -hmm. but it's not like that because I think when mm -hmm. we're in our own lives sometimes it is sometimes a bit difficult to kind of see through 
like the mud in yeah. a way you mm-hmm. know so yeah, i think that that true. i think therapy is definitely something that really helped to drag me out of a really negative yeah. time definitely. into a positive time yeah but i think once again my natural state is being yeah. positive yeah, like exactly. you you know but again like thinking about like the tools and like working towards being mm. more positive person one could be therapy obviously right yeah. like uh, that's one of the things that you can use to become more a positive person i think, I think so yeah, yeah. what sense. other what other tips if well, somebody's kind of watching? Are we at the point like i think let, we're at that let's, point what do we think like yeah let's like some tips to help people well, to help people like, yeah well, hopefully. If, if you want <laughs> but, to yeah you, know? if you want to maybe become more positive or like i think one thing i will say it's really like if you if there's a situation and you're gonna go you're straight away you go to the negative part mm. i don't know it's raining that means that it's gonna destroy my day i won't be able to do anything okay. fuck this so if you th- if in that moment you sit and you kind of like flip that to the other side and see like how that will look like maybe that will mm. help kind of like all the situations that you when you've encountered yourself being something really negative about it it's kind of like well but what will happen if it doesn't happen if it happens the other way exactly or the, or the other way because it's not like oh, it's also feel like it's not ne- positive negative it's not like that like within negativity there's like a range mm. and within positivity it's also a range so it's mm. kind of like it's not like oh the result is going to be totally good but it can be on the more positive spectrum mm-hmm. as well there's maybe another option for that another mm-hmm. situation to happen mm-hmm. that also it can be okay mm. it's not like a big problem so i think like maybe that helps to refrain a bit like mm. okay yes everything could go bad but if it goes to the way how that will look like yeah. kind of like see like how it may look like if it doesn't go that negative so maybe i think that's a i think yeah something to... about kind of challenging yourself is a good tip yeah. of like yeah it might be bad but it might also be good and what will you say then if for example, mm. if it's like, no, I want to stay, remain negative. So if it, if it happens, I will prepare. But mm. if it doesn't happen, I won't lose anything because I never thought it would happen anyway. What 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 a person can do there to maybe like... Kind of change that change a little that, bit. Yeah. I think I would say that's great that you're preparing mm-hmm. yourself for mm-hmm. the worst, for example. Mm-hmm. Say that you're going for a job and you think mm-hmm. like, I'm definitely not going to get it. Like I'm mm-hmm. not going to get it. That's good because it's like, you know, you're being realistic and yeah. that's fine. Yeah. And that maybe means that you keep on applying for other jobs yeah. and you're not like too heartbroken when you don't yeah. get it. It's a good time but, you know, I think it's, I might also say, but like, you know, you made it this far, yeah. for example, or like yeah. there's lots of stuff that they're interested yeah. in to yeah, get yeah, you this yeah. far so yeah. that you've gotten to the interview. A yeah. lot of people don't get that. Why don't you focus on yeah. on that a little bit? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think the job uh, example is really good because it's that thing like, it's not about being um, blindly positive totally. because obviously you need to be also like realistic mm. and like make sense of everything things but you can be like okay what happens if this goes good or bad if it goes bad well next one mm. it's a job there's millions of jobs in the city i will get another one mm-hmm. if it goes good well that was my chance it was my it was my time to get that type of job fine so it's kind of like that as well that kind of like I feel like, yeah, I feel like you can prepare for both without yeah. one can- cancelling the other totally. one. So you can be positive a situation and be yeah. negative. So you can be, I think that's a thing. It's good to be prepared for both scenarios. Def- definitely. And they don't have to cancel each other. Yeah. It could be this, it could be that. But you have the... So you're aware, of course, you're not like mm-hmm. stupidly blind mm-hmm. about something, but still mm-hmm. you are like having a positive outlook about it so it's not that heavy i don't know i think that would be something i don't know i think i have this kind of way of looking at things Mm -hmm. which again this might be like really blindly optimistic Mm -hmm. but i don't know what you think about this Mm -hmm. but i feel that you can't lose in life Mm -hmm. i just feel Mm -hmm. like you can't Mm -hmm. i feel like you either get what you want Mm -hmm. or you don't get what you want Mm -hmm. but that's because something better is coming and i know that a lot Mm -hmm. of people might be like oh what a load of bullshit like Mm -hmm. that's absolutely not bull that's not that's not true And that's fine. That's just my way of viewing things. Yeah. But that's something that I truly believe. Yeah. Just because like I've seen that in my like 33 years of living so yeah, far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like and observing other people's lives as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. I just don't think there's any way that you can lose. Yeah. And that I is think, like really yeah. positive. But 
I think yeah. it's like a spiritual way of seeing things as well. More spiritual and connected to you're like Namaste, Namaste. bitches. <laughs> Go to Bali once. It's like <laughs> life is a circle. You can't <laughs> we, lose. We can lose. But yeah, <laughs> I, true, I I agree. feel yeah. It's I, more mindful as well. I think. I think, yeah. I think beco- maybe becoming like a more mindful person it will help you with your optimism. That's and a really a good point. And person. actually, another kind of practical tip I would mm-hmm. give that I think definitely has made me more positive is meditation meditation Mm. like I meditate every single day not to be like I meditate every single day but I do I meditate every single Mm -hmm. day and I really think that's Mm. helped me to be more positive because Mm. I think what it does it it makes you calmer and it makes you um kind of like step back not I'm not always able to do that at all but I think it gives you that uh, perspective of like how I'm acting like and choosing a different way to yeah. kind of look at things so that's something yeah. i would say yeah definitely. um but I think, yeah. yeah like with it's all great, things in yeah. life if you're not naturally positive or yeah. even if you are positive the world is kind of like a really yeah. hard place yeah i think it's something that you have to work at yeah. and i think that mm. you can work on that just yeah. like just like going to the gym you can train your muscles for positivity yeah. but it's, it's true it's, it's cliche but yeah, it's, it's yeah. true culture also makes has like a it's big big role here because I what well, you were think when you were thinking about him, I think during this episode I'm thinking I'm trying to think a lot to for people that have no they don't have maybe the conditions to be positive you know yeah, kind of like yeah, being yeah. like well some people are depressed some people are having issues some people that really don't have food you know I was I'm trying to have that in the back of my mind to not be like uh super radical optimism and all the yeah. top and kind of to like dig a bit deeper on that but then I was thinking yeah like the cultural um things like for example and me coming from latin america there's like in latin america this is like this i would think latin america is very radical optimistic actually mm. and i feel like you have a lot of situations that things are not really going well like and uh, not to go too much into it but even like in the worst cases and with the worst in the little resources and with not a lot people try to thrive and be very happy and that's why always this cliche oh latin americans are so happy and so loud and so upbeat yeah and most of those people that are really loud upbeat and happy they have nothing they have just a little so i think like that's a whole again another topic Mm. because then you go to other countries and i don't know europe or continents and there's a different perspectives on that yeah but i do think like where the way you were raised now going back to all of that Mm. wrapping this in a circle so i think also it's you can be naturally positive but also i think there's a cultural element Element, that helps you or not to be more positive or like a family culture as well maybe not your culture culture but your family culture as well because maybe your mom is really positive and you were just raised to be really positive or likewise maybe you were um, really negative and raised to be really negative i think that it's an interesting one isn't it but i Mm -hmm. think it's really good that you brought in this this thing of like well not everybody has this kind of choice to be mm-hmm. optimistic and, mm-hmm. and it's true like I think we don't want to say that you know obviously for people in like wars or It'd horrible conditions yeah. yeah like it's mm-hmm. not that it's obviously like no yeah, people yeah, no yeah. one should be experiencing those things like a lot of things that are going on in the world yeah, at the yeah. moment like no they they shouldn't be experiencing it and yeah. they shouldn't be optimistic because you yeah. shouldn't be in that situation yeah, in the first yeah, 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 place yeah, yeah. so I think it's kind of yeah not in those kind not, of obviously yeah, yeah, yeah we're yeah, not like yeah. blind to all of those exactly yeah at least she makes us think you know yeah definitely she's yeah. an interesting artist because she's so poppy yeah but and she doesn't really cover big topics in her songs but somehow yeah. she makes you yeah reflect on things that's true yeah i think when i was listening to some of these uh interviews like mm. promoting the new album and it's kind of like the way she's playing what she was feeling and why her feelings turn into this album i think that's really interesting mm. because you can tell she's i mean we know she's smart because she has her own podcast and she's freaking smart. She's great and on that, she, yeah. So maybe that gives you more content as well. You know, like, this is not a shallow concept because yeah. you know her from, <laughs> like, by facts. Like, she's a deep person. Mm. And obviously, in that way, makes you think of the album a bit more than just, oh, yeah, she's fucking positive because she's, like, a, uh, I don't yeah, know, like, a self-help yeah, 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 true. millionaire, true, true. you know? So it gives you more of that. But, yeah, definitely. It's like, uh, I think it's, yeah makes you reflect on that and what's your favorite song from the album can we ask um, i know I, I i'm gonna guess what yours is and yeah. you guess what mine is okay yeah i think well i mean you shared it on the story but i yeah, feel yeah, yeah. i think you like these walls can talk yeah I really if these walls can talk uh, these walls i think it's the are these walls yeah and i think you like 
I mean, I think you like Houdini. I really like Houdini. It, yeah. grew, it grew on me a lot. At the beginning, I was a bit. Eh. Yeah. But yeah, I think yeah. I think yours. I think yours. At the end of an era. You like. Oh that my one. god! Yeah. 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 And, uh, and I know you like illusion. illusion. I like. <laughs> I like illusion. But I also really like Happy for You. Oh, happy I think for Happy you. for You will that's be a, my favorite. That's a really beautiful song. I have to say that really yeah. got me. Like I was literally like, oh, I feel like a, a lump to go back to our crying episode. I was like, oh, it, it's a really, it's a really, uh, uh, yeah. I like the concept of Happy for You because it's that like being that moment of your life that you can see from yeah. perspective and oh, I'm happy for the other person. That's Do you know what made me emotional yeah. about that as well? Is mm-hmm. that it really reminded me of Blur. Uh-huh. Be- be- and like uh, I have such strong memories of like mm-hmm. me and my mom being in the car in the oh, 90s yeah. and my mom playing like Blur, Oasis, yeah, all of that, that like Britpop stuff and the beginning it just made me have mm-hmm. that feeling of yeah, like oh yeah, yeah. this is like so yeah. Oasis, Blur, no- like Timeless. very nostalgic I agree. and then the topic is like yeah, yeah like that's the best feeling in the world yeah. when you're yeah, yeah, genuinely yeah. happy for somebody True. who you used to love, I, I don't know I, I find I it very it mature. Yeah. I think it's a pretty album, it's really I agree I don't know if a word was kind of pretty. It makes you feel pretty, like mm. a pretty feeling, like a calming, like beautiful feeling. And so I feel I there's something really nice in this with, you know, someone like Dua Lipa. I feel the world is like extremely dark mm-hmm. right now. Yeah, true. Like yeah. every day there's something more and more dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think she's always this kind of light that's not avoiding things, yeah, yeah, yeah. but she's always looking at things. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's really needed actually, her yeah, music yeah, yeah. at the moment. To be honest, she, she said, I think... Yeah, she always said that she describes her music like uh, uh, dance, dance cry. crying, dance crying. Yeah. She always because it's true. It's kind of like it's it's not avoidant, but it's kind of like okay, let's go through it. So yeah, radical optimism, definitely yeah. good t- title for her exactly. because it defines her. So, well, thank yeah. you very much for the topic, love. Thank, thank you for yeah, sharing you it with for me. For bringing it, it was <laughs> it was really very really nice, really good. Thank um, you. You see, you can have a chat out of uh, fucking everything. Literally. <laughs> so there you go. But guys, really please good. tell us in the comments: Are you optimistic? Would you say you're more pessimistic? Tell, tell what us, do you think please, because I'm really this. curious. And remember to please like uh, yeah. rate the podcast. And Give us the ratings. But so. yeah, guys, see you next week. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.